What's up, y'all? We back at it again with another video, and today we're just gonna be talking about how I opened up a barbershop at a young age and some ways I can help you out. You know, we are outside of my barbershop right now, Lavish Barbershop, Sacramento, California. So whoever's watching this and y'all come visit Sacramento, y'all make sure to come tap in that Lavish Barbershop, man. So I'm gonna give you some ways and some tactics that, to help you open up your own business at a young age. I opened up my business when I was 21 years old, and I'm gonna give you some game on how to do it, you know, accomplish it. Opened it when I was 21 years old. I got the Camaro 2016 2SS, the first model of the new uh, 6th gen. You know, that's all from, you know, being dedicated to my craft and, you know, fulfilling my dreams and, you know, just making a goal happen all the time. Not that material things matters, it's just that you work hard and you can be able to afford the stuff that you wanted. So I much appreciate all the support and, um, you know, putting God first, of course. But this is just, you know, what's going on in my my day-to-day -day life as work. I decided I wanted to open up a barbershop. It was a vision of mine when I was cutting in the garage where I didn't know nothing about cutting hair. I didn't know nothing about nothing when it came to this industry, you know. But um, my journey was tough. It was, you know, no journey is going to be smooth, you know. There's always going to be ups and downs and um, bumpy roads. So prepare yourself for that and just know it's not easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to take time. So, uh, but that was my vision in the garage. It's just I want to become a great barber. I want to be a successful barber. I want to be a, a barbershop owner. And I want to um, start my own brand in this industry, you know, the Lavish Barber. That's my brand. So that's why I named my shop Lavish Barbershop. Just a, a trend and a brand that, you know, people can know. And um, that I, could be, I build an empire. You know, that's what it comes down to. You're building an empire, you know. Um, you, you can help your family out. So it comes with a lot of benefits where you can help a lot of people out and give opportunity and just, um, you know, owning a business, you know, because you give opportunity to let people work here and make, let them make money, you know, feed their family and get what they want. You know, you're helping your family out because you're getting more income a month where you can do more things with them. So how I opened up my own barbershop, man, it took patience, you know, being willing to open up your own business and um, to, you know, start your own business is going to take patience and dedication, you know, stuff just don't happen overnight. So with that being said, you got to prepare yourself of being patient, you know, if it's months, if it's days, if it's years, you know, I waited four and a half years until I opened up my own barbershop. Why? Because I had to learn all the game ment mentally and physically, you know, like this stuff just, you just, just because you have the money to do it don't mean you're ready, you know, so I had to mentally prepare myself to have the responsibility of dealing with barbers and being responsible for them and customers and um so that, that's that's important mentally be ready for a business responsibility you know so because it's going to come with stress it's going to come with responsibility and um you know some headaches then of course there's gr there's there's great days you know so um that's what you get paid for you know people paying you uh, you know benefiting more income coming in so you're gonna have to deal with stuff and uh, being a business ain't hard and you know it, it could be easy so it could go both ways so um, it just depends how you take that responsibility and that stress, how you deal with it, you know. So, and you know, how to open my own barbershop, you know. So I got out of game from the barbershop I was working at, and not just only them, I was going all around in um, my area where I live at in Sacramento and just getting knowledge from people and just, you know, uh, networking with people and just see how they deal with things as other business owners and um, either just other barbers too, you know, asking them questions, you know. I wasn't afraid to ask questions. I was out there being hungry and out there giving myself some knowledge. So you gotta feed yourself some knowledge when it comes to business business and do your research on it, you know, which I told you in the, in the past video about being an entrepreneur. So, um, you know, just being a, a, a young business owner, you know, I, I saved my money. I was smart with my money and uh, I put it in investment that in the industry that I'm already doing. So I already knew about it, you know, so uh, pay attention to what you put your money into and just know about it so you can know what's going on in that industry, you know. So, for instance, if I opened up a mechanic shop, I wouldn't know nothing about it because I don't know nothing about cars. Uh, you know, major stuff like that. So um, I would have to learn that industry to be able to, you know, be comfortable enough to put my money into it. But I already knew that I was comfortable enough, you know, four and a half years later to open up my own barbershop and, um, you know, made it happen. God is good. Another very important thing is discipline. Have a disciplined mindset where, you know, where money comes in, involved, where you got to save your money because you got a goal and you want to achieve it. You know, you got to have a disciplined mindset where you're receiving money and you got money saved up, which is a lot of amount. 
but you can't just go off and blow it on stupid stuff. You got to put that into business. So that's another way, you know, how to discipline my mindset, you know, where I can't go out there and buy. I could, but I didn't want to because I wanted a bigger thing. I wanted, you know, to build my empire and be an investor and a businessman. So I had to be smart with it. It was challenging, very challenging, you know, especially when you're at that age, 21, you know, that's, that's your prime, man. So, um, you know, just have a disciplined mindset and it takes a lot. But, you know, if I could do it, you could do it. You know, it just depends how bad you want this. And of course, you know, with me opening my own shop, I had a, a good clientele. You know, you want to build a, up a good clientele so you can have steady money coming in. So that way, if you have no barbers, you still got enough clientele where you can pay the bills on your own without, you know, the barbers paying the bills. So um, build you clientele, you know, get your name buzzing and, um, you know, just just have a big clientele like i said networking with people is important you know because you know basically one of the clients found me this shop he found me the location you know i was shopping around and i told him and um you know because my client we talk about my goals and stuff and i told him i'm gonna open up a shop i'm just looking for a location so with that being said he found me a location he's like he sent me the picture like what about this spot and um i drove down there called the uh the bro uh the landlord and um yeah it went from there you know just set up meetings and and also, when you open up a business and you meet up with these property managers, you want to be professional. You know, you can't be cussing in these meetings. You can't be, you know, doing some ghetto stuff. You got to, you know, even though it's like comfortable like that, but you got to, man, you got to have that professional side of you where you're, you're about your business and, um, you know, you're here to take care of business. So, and another thing is, you know, how to open up the shop. Um, it, you know, it took time to build my credit score up too. So, uh, building your credit score is very important when it comes to these property managers and um, these, you know, these managers that and landlords that own these properties that they want to rent out to their tenants. You know, make sure that you got good um, history of credit. You know, so I did build up my credit score, and um, there's ways of doing it. You know, me, I, I I bought some jewelry and kept paying on every month. Um, you know, car payment kept on paying every month. That stuff builds your credit up. So different ways, credit cards can build your credit you just got to find out and do your research on what could build your credit you know and ask around so um taking the time to build my credit that stuff don't happen overnight either it takes time so build a good credit score a good reputation a good source of income coming in every month because they want to see the your source of income coming in every month so um that's important, you know, make sure you put your, if you're a barber, you know, invest your money into, uh, you know, open up a bank account and put your uh, money in the bank every month, you know, every week, whatever it is. So they could see your, your bank statements, you know, so they could have some proof of income that you're making legit money. What's up, y'all? I just want to tune in with y'all right quick. And uh, for you young bosses and entrepreneurs and um, that got that mindset, you know, just know it ain't easy. The journey ain't easy. So uh, with that being said, man, have a disciplined mindset. Um, have that drive into you to go out there and get it. You know, if you're self-motivated, if you're the only one that got it, man, then go get it. So um, don't worry about what everybody else is doing because that's just all distractions. You feel me? If you want some and um, you got to have that tunnel vision to, to go out and get it, man. Like I said, be ambitious, remain humble. At the same time, have that confidence in yourself. You know, feed yourself some knowledge, you know. So uh, just know the journey ain't going to be smooth. You know, just be patient. It's all going to be worth it at the end of the day, building an empire and just seeing your success grow. So I uh, highly recommend y'all, you know, just not to give up and never give up on any circumstance. You know, just keep going. You know, nobody want to get up every day and just keep doing it, the same thing over and over, but you know, you got to get it to be able to get to where you want to be at. So I highly recommend y'all to go keep going. So yeah, I'm very thankful for my clients that have been supporting me through this journey. You know, uh, family, you know, family is very important, you know, to help you and support you and, um, you know, motivate you and keep you on track. So is friends. So, and uh, most importantly, God, you know, I'm a big believer when it comes to religion. And, um, you know, if this video ain't for you, if you don't want to talk about religion, then I respect that. But, you know, I'm a big believer in um, God. So, um, and I, I got to thank the man above, you know, for just giving me where I'm at today and just waking up every day and have this journey set for me. You know, I appreciate everything and I'm thankful. And, um, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm just an ordinary man that has, you know, uh, a goal and um, a drive to, to do more and ambitious, you know, because we all got different journeys that he has planned for us, you know. So and ain't nothing wrong with it, you know, but hope this video motivates you and, um, you know, gives you some some ambition to 
to succeed in your goals, you know, because that's what I'm about. I'm trying to help y'all out and just give y'all free game. I should have been doing this, but, you know, just because of business and I was comfortable where I was at, you know, I, I kind of held back on YouTube. So now I'm back on it and I'm um, just trying to really just give y'all, you know, this knowledge and stuff. Because I look on a lot of YouTube videos and I typed in before I opened up a barbershop, how to open a barbershop. There was really not too many, you know. So hopefully, you know, this stuff help you out, you know, practice it and uh, listen to what I'm saying and learn from it, you know. And, um... You know, do the things that I'm trying to tell you to do because that's really important when it comes to business, you know, your life. So, y'all uh, stay tuned. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like this video and leave some good feedback. You know, we're going to continue with these um, good stories and these good videos that's going to help y'all.